canine, your first fight with Corey Springs, Spinks, very convincing victory for you. Uh, he, do you feel that it's going to be any different this time around? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just you know I'm gonna go out there and handle my business, you know, put on a good show and get ready for the next fight. Got you. A lot of people they knew you first from you know your role on the Contender, and after that you know you're able to become a champion, part of your, <laughs> yeah. part of your career. Do you take pride in knowing that you're able to kind of really push forward and late into your career become a champion? I get glory to God because you know without God or you know without Him nothing will be will be possible. And um, I'm just you know I'm just thankful and happy that you know I'm in this position that I'm in and. You know, I just want to showcase my talent tomorrow mm -hmm. and put on the best performance that I can put on and the best is yet to come. And at this point, how bad do you want those big fights, like the fights with like a Cotto or a Sal Alvarez? How much do you really want that? Oh, they're going to happen. All I got to do is just keep winning, you know. Mm -hmm. Basis is virtual, you know, long suffering in Christ. I don't, I don't put the work in spiritually, physically, mentally. And, and you know, like I was saying, 2012 is my year. What has it been like kind of being around Manuel Stewart and working with him and learning from him? Uh, it's been great. I mean, he's the best promoter, uh, manager, um, you, know, one of, you know, one of the best, if not the best of all time. And uh, it's been great. You know, I got a great team. You know, I got um, my wife, you know, she, you know, she's, she's special to me. Got a good team. My, my coach, Sugar Hill, Keith Lee, Manuel. I got my, 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 one of my business partners right here, Tracy Gideon. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, good sparring. Everything has just been wonderful. It's been great. And what is your opinion on Sal Alvarez as a fighter, the WBC champion? Oh, sure. He's a good fighter. He's a good fighter because, um, I mean, the people people like Golden Boy are not going to um, do no business with you unless you, gotta, unless you know how to fight. Yeah. So it's obvious you know how to fight. Turn pro, I think, what, at 15 years old? Yeah, 15. It's like 40, 41 and 0. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, he got the, he's a world champion, so, you know, he's a good fighter, and, um, you know, I'm not looking past Corey Spinks, but, um, right. you know, he's a good fighter. Are you surprised that they're talking about Salvarez? He might possibly fight Marcos Maidana, the 140-pound champion. Do you feel that's just too big of a jump in weight for Maidana? Um, you know, what's in God's hands? I mean, you know, he, he's supposed to have been fighting some of everybody. He's supposed to have been fighting, you know, Kirkland, you know, um, Paul Williams. And, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I just put in God's hands and um, yeah. the best hands to put in. Gotcha. And did you see the Manny Pacquiao-Timothy Bradley fight? Uh, what were your thoughts if you saw? Uh, it was a good fight, you know. I, I know Timothy Bradley. He's a cool guy, so, you know, I, you know, I don't want to you know, say too much about, you know, what, what I feel about the fight. I mean, you know, you got eyes, I got eyes. We saw the fight. Yeah. And I'm happy I'm happy for both of them because it didn't hurt, it didn't hurt um, either one of them. I mean, um, Bradley is still undefeated. Made a lot of money. Mm. Gonna get bigger and better fights. Manny Pacquiao, there's no, there's no loss on his record because you know he did what he had to do. So, yeah. I, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy to see that he got God. He's got God fully in his life even more. So it's a good thing. They both, they both are. Right. And Manny Pacquiao, late in the fight, he wasn't quite as effective. Do you feel maybe he's lost a little killer instinct? No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, you know, I, I tempt Bradley breaking his foot. I think that kind of like, you know, stopped the fight from being even as good as it could have been. Mm -hmm. Show a lot of heart. Fighting on with a, a broke foot or a broke ankle, whatever it was. Yeah. And um, if that wouldn't happen, I think it would have been even a better fight. You know, um, he, he had to box more and he had to fight, you know, a different kind of fight. So, you know, Manny Pacquiao wasn't able to, to fight the kind of fight he wanted to fight because, you know, Bradley wasn't Bradley. Okay. So Pacquiao wasn't Pacquiao. Gotcha. And how can fans reach out to you, K9? Oh, they can reach out to me um, on K9 Boxing Twitter, okay. K9 Boxing Facebook, 2012, the dog is coming, God is great, boxing scene in the house, one love, all right. to all my crunk dogs, thanks for that good sparring and good work, I'm um, bringing the belt back and still the IBF Dreamweight World Champion. Oh. Oh, 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 oh.